All right, Hades Omega here. So here they are, the wheels they are going on. So I had already, I had actually planned to install this like a week ago while I was working on the suspension, but I said, uh, it's okay, I'm gonna drive it around for a little bit more and let the suspension settle first. So I've been driving it around for a while, for like a week or so. And, uh, and uh, I have to say, I don't like those rear, uh, those rear lifters because they make a lot of noise and I think they're gonna probably uh, wear wear the springs out so I'm just gonna I'm gonna replace them with the rubber ones but uh, actually I, I totally forgot to buy them too I'll have to go head up to Pet Boys today I guess so today I was thinking of taking the day off and just getting this car um, running uh, so I don't have to do any more work on it I'm tired of working on this car I did put in a lot of work into it yes last year last week and uh, and I gotta get these wheels on there. It shouldn't be hard. And I got this uh, Mike 500 plate to put in, help stiffen up the suspension. So, so all my, all my suspension modifications and maintenance are all gonna. I'm all gonna get them done today. Today, right? Hopefully. Oh, so that means uh, if I, uh, I know if I, uh, I should have bought that thing first. Anyway. Um, but I already got everything out. I'm just gonna go there. I'm just gonna drive straight there. Maybe I'll maybe I'll even get it aligned at Pet Boys. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Anyway, so uh, so here it is. I got all my tools out. I've been dying to use this new uh, low profile uh, three ton jack I got from Harbor Freight. Um, and I got that one just in case it doesn't fit. I can jack it up a little bit, but I don't recommend jacking up the car with this. It's not a very strong jack, but it's a handy one though. Um, yeah, so. So, uh, so, so last time I, I was, um, I was touching up the wheels and they turned out pretty good. You can't tell there's any peel on them anymore. Look at them. Pretty good. There's this, there's a little bit of sections that probably still need some paint, but that's okay. I'm not tripping on that. It's, nobody's going to notice it. So there it is. So uh, that's after all the painting and everything. Um, you can tell like where the paint is cracking on some of these wheels. Like here, there's a piece missing. And there's a piece missing here. And then like I think there's some of the paint that's cracking off somewhere. It's not too noticeable. Well that's good. Yeah, there's some missing paint here and here I don't, I don't know they just didn't take very good care of these wheels or something maybe they use them for autocross or something I don't know but they're going on my Prius today get rid of these boring wheels that all the other Priuses have so I had installed uh, some Sumitomo HTR ASP02s these are uh, these are some great tires they're um, they have a tread wear of 500 and traction a temperature a so, uh, should be good. So I'm replacing some Michelin X radials. Uh, they're kind of old. They're starting, starting to crack and uh, the tread is finally at, at where all the wear bars are. So they're actually officially bald. But uh, I knew I could, ri I could drive these until uh, the end of summer. And then uh, it's pretty much the end of summer right now. So. It's a good time to change them. Plus, if I could sell them with some meat, maybe some people might want them. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, also this is a 2006 Prius. So it has the, um, how you say, uh, TPMS sensor. Uh, I, am, I am not replacing the TPMS sensors. They're, they've gone bad or they ran out of battery. It's at 120,000 miles and it just, I don't think it's worth it to, um, to install a new sensor. It's a nice feature to have, but it just it costs a lot, and it's it's a it's a pain in the ass to maintain. So I decided to forego it. In fact, I'm going to go repair it. I will make a, for a video on how I'm going to repair the uh, keep the light from going on, basically. So uh, let's get to it. Finally, install these wheels. Oh yeah, I never went over the the. So these are uh these have a tread wear of 740. Uh, traction A, temperature B. So, um, so these are better tires. These tires will grip more. They're softer. They don't. They won't last as long as this tire. This tire is a very long-lasting tire. 
It doesn't grip. It grips okay. I I drive. I'm not gonna lie. I drive this car really hard. So <laughs> when there's no passengers in the car, I rail it. You know, but but um but uh yeah. So that's this why you can tell the edges are worn out very well. We'll take a look at the tread when I take the wheels off. But uh yeah. So seven. 740 tread wear. That's damn. These yeah. things are like made out of steel, man. Um, so I should get a lot better grip out of these ones. And but the ride quality sucks ass on these, and they're really loud. So uh, I will. I would be willing to sacrifice some mileage for uh, for some better comfort and better grip. Which is why I'm putting these on. Um, and we'll see how much the gut. The, um, well, I'm in tire mileage, but uh. But gas mileage, I may lose some gas mileage too. These are actually a little bit bigger. Yeah, they're a little bigger than stock wheels too. But it's got more rubber now. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, car's up in there. Let's do some uh, tire changing. Let's get a one video of me taking these out. Oh, oh damn, the inside is worn on these. So I, I don't know, I, may, I guess uh, I guess maybe the, um, yeah, something wrong with the alignment or something on this side. Or it could be, uh, it could be, uh, could be because I uh, installed the shock absorbers. I don't think it would wear them that fast, but the inner, the inner part of the wheels is gone already. So. Ah, good thing I changed them. The other one looked okay. It's kind of weird, so I guess I need to rotate um, left to right more. But look at look at the um, look at the old tire compared to the new tire. Ooh, so much more meat on them. It's gonna be so much better. All right. So uh, so yeah. Oh, this one's got nails and stuff on it too. All right. Let's go take a look at the other wheel. So definitely a wheel alignment is in order. But I, for the most part this car handles great. Yeah, it looks like the outside is worn out more on this and the inside is worn out more on the other. That's a camber problem though. Yeah, it could be a tow problem also, but it really shouldn't wear on the inside like that. We'll find out what's up when I get a wheel alignment on this car. Alright, tis on there. Alright, let's see right, the other so one. One thing I'm not liking about these wheels already is that um, the lug nuts are like inside the wheel, you know? It's harder to get the wheels, the lug nuts on and off because it's, it's like a little, it's like the hole is bigger. It's the wheel. Starting to realize that right now. These are not very easy to install wheels. Done. Okay, my buddy, handy dandy uh, torque wrench here. Alright, 
There you go. All done. Front's done. There you go. Check the tire pressure. All right, back wheels. Here we go. All right, so I'm kind of looking at this wheel right here, and it's showing the same tire damage. In fact, this one is very, really bad. This one has outside and inside wear. So uh, I think, uh, what is it? Yeah, I think uh, something wrong with this side of the car. Uh, the toe is probably off on this side, so we're gonna have to figure something out. Um, hopefully they can. Hopefully the that when I do take it to the alignment shop, they uh, they change the um, they do some adjustments to it. If not, well, if there's if it if it winds up being fine, then it's fine. Um, just you'll just have to rotate the tires more often, so it wears more evenly. Okay, so there definitely is something going on. Wow, this, this wheel is really light compared to the Celica wheel. <laughs> anyway, this one has less rubber too. Um, anyway, um, so this one doesn't seem to have any inside damage. So I'm thinking the toe is off. The toe is off in the front is probably why it's wearing out, maybe. Or something wrong with the rear of this car. But uh, I don't really notice any problem with the rear. Dis the, the handling is excellent on this. This is one of the best handling Prius I've bought, so. I don't know, I hope something's wrong with it. Um, so yeah, this one has wear on the inside and outside too, but they're pretty even. This is how you want it to look like. Uh, as you can see, the wear bars are nearly there. They're nearly done, but the sides are done. And the tire's cracking, so this is not a good tire. Look at that wheel weight. I've never seen wheel weights like that before. It's pretty fat. Okay. Okay, next set of wheels. All right, there it is. That's what a Celica GTS wheels look like on a Toyota Prius. Surprisingly, the wheels all like they kind of match with the car, the the paint a little bit. Since there's a lot of black stuff on the car, like the tint and the um, and the um, the vent shades, they uh, they match pretty well. well. The good thing is uh, the drums are really small, so you can't really tell they're drums, sorta. And the front fits pretty well. It's a bit of a wheel gap. It looks great. I like it. I'm really happy. Here's another interesting comparison. Uh, so right there, my Toyota Previa has uh, has the Mitsubishi Eclipse wheels. These are like two of my favorite uh, OEM uh, five-spoke wheels on these two cars. It's uh, really interesting. Um, I'd have to say, well, I don't know, man. I like them both. I like them both. I kind of like that kind of um, that concave look of the Eclipse better, though. Um, these ones are flatter. They're uh, yeah, they're flatter. The offset's a little flatter. Nice. All right, we'll take some pictures. Please make out.